hello my gardening family guys so as you would have already know that we are expecting a storm burial category five well the predictions are that it will weaken but we still have to take into consideration the rain the breeze a lot of things i am new to this location in portmore I do not know what to expect. We just have to pray and hope for the best. For my garden family in the neighboring Caribbean countries that were affected, I do hope that your recovery process will be speedily and smooth. And may God continue to be with you. For those of us who are awaiting burial, I really hope that the impact will be minimal. And I am praying for you and I'm asking you to pray for us as well. My fellow Jamaicans, we are always saying, oh, you're not going to come, but let us prepare. It's better to be prepared than sorry. My Jamaican Backyard Garden, Portmore Edition. This is Gardening with Stacy. Come garden with me now, man. So the intention is for me to put as much as my fruit trees as possible on the car porch. The banana tree was always up there. I moved it the other day. I was around in my garden for a few days. And so it is already looking not so good. I may get a lot of damages. But I'm going to see as much as what I can do. Definitely for my fruit trees, for example, the banana tree, my June plum tree, my mango tree, my apple tree, nesberry, avocado. This is what again, Aki, star fruit. Um, I think I'm going to get my peppers inside as well. I am going to do as much as I can. My sugar cane, I don't believe I can leave my sugar cane outside here. Or else they are going to be severely damaged with the winds. I believe. I believe. I have sweet peppers on here. Oh. <sighs> I don't know if I'll be able to take in these plants and the cucumber. I've harvested some already, but these, as you can see, that they are nowhere close to harvest. Nowhere close to harvest. So, I think I'm going to leave those. I'm just going to do what can be done. My grapevine, look at it. I won't be able to move that. I'm definitely going to show you how my garden is. So I'm thinking that I should move these, put them flat on the ground so I can put some flat on here as well and let my flowers right here. I can put them flat as well. Uh, this table now, I'm going to take this glass, I'm going to wash it off and take that inside. I'm going to see how best I can get things organized and just hope for the best. Because we really and truly have no control and we just have to trust God. Pray and trust God. That's all we can do. Look here, guys. I am getting potatoes, aka Irish potatoes. I am getting potatoes. I'm so excited. Look at my yam. Look at the vine. I curl it up like this because it was spreading all over. So, I need to get cracking and I'll show you guys. I'll give you the end results after I'm done. Okay, so this is how things are. I put these lower. I put these lower as well. Most of my fruit trees are on the front. My sugar cane, I was going to move it, but... It is secured to the grill. I hope Beryl doesn't destroy it. This is how I'm leaving the garden. 
I was going to move these down. But I'm just going to let them stay. Your thoughts though. Your thoughts. So my garden is being stripped. Yep. I'm not sure about this one. But. Oh, let's see. Let's see what will be the end results. So this is how the car porch is looking. With all of these. So yes, I do hope for a safe passage for all of us. A lot of work to get them around, but I rather go through the work. No, than to actually lose them. So that's it for today, guys. Stay safe, keep safe, let us pray, and trust God for the best. All right? So until next time, walk good.